Good morning, welcome. I'm so excited to get started here with you today. So we're gonna give it just a moment or two. For those of you who are hopping on live, if you're watching the replay, then what I would say is still take part in this. Put time aside, dive right in, answer the questions and get really involved. So as you're jumping on, I would love you to say good morning to me. Uh, tell me where it is that you are joining me from. <laughs> are you still experiencing the crazy storm outside? It's lovely to see you all and I am very excited to be here for day one of how to grow your profitable Facebook group. Um, so we have got three deep dive days together where I'm really going to be taking you through, if I can speak, the key aspects of growing your own fabulous Facebook group and not just making it this fabulous place that is filled with your sole clients where there is huge engagement and massive, um, just massive change happening, right? but also you get to make a profit from it because what you have is a business, not a hobby, and you get to receive richly for the work that you do. And so over these three days, we're gonna be covering each of the essential aspects so that you can start doing that for yourself. I'm really excited to see you all. As you're hopping on, say good morning, because it's always lovely to see everyone. Uh, yay, it's lovely to see you all. Just quickly, let me just mention occasionally, Let's pray to the Facebook gods it doesn't happen this time, but sometimes we have little Facebook glitches. If for any reason I disappear, refresh your screen, I will be trying to get back. So I'm just throwing that in there so you know. But hopefully it's all gonna run, run really smoothly and we're gonna cover some fabulous content today that is really going to help you. If you don't know me, my name's Claire McPherson. I am a business growth coach, but I believe that we create results from the inside out. So it's about getting into alignment, shifting our mindset, actually tapping into our soul work and our purpose work, and then showing up fully and in that showing up fully we want to use strategies we want to have a plan but it needs to be that soul-led plan that authentic plan that really lights you up so that you get to wake up every single freaking morning in your business feeling excited about it feeling alive getting out there knowing that you can make a difference that you can do your purpose work you can you can activate your gifts and use them fully and you can receive richly for that work so that you get paid for being you you get paid for your presence and you get to therefore have the life that you dream of does it sound good that's the plan and this is one of those strategies that you can be using in your business that is in alignment, that uses your gifts, that uses your strength to really grow your business big time, to attract your ideal clients, to show them that you are the person who can help them with whatever it is that you do in your business. And then you can sell to them in a really aligned, authentic way that feels fantastic. So there's no ickiness whatsoever. So you can sell with ease. And that means you can sell more often, you can sell more, and your clients will be happy for you to sell because they'll actually want more of you. They'll be saying, well, how do I actually get this person's help? Or how do I buy these products? Or how do I do this thing? How do I go the next step with this fantastic person? I'm going to totally assume that the angry faces are not really angry, <laughs> that you're pressing a button by mistake because <laughs> um, who wouldn't be excited about that, right? So today we are specifically looking at setting your group up for massive success and the one thing that will make the biggest impact in growing your group and engagement. So that's what we're going to be diving into. What I would love you to share with me you're in miserable Glasgow. Oh no, does that mean the terror is, <laughs> weather's terrible up there? Uh, hey, good morning. There's lots of good mornings. It's lovely to see you all. Sunny Warwickshire. Is Warwickshire sunny? Oh my gosh, we could do with a bit of sun here. It's terrible. I've put my love hot top on for you, seeing that we're on Valentine's week <laughs> this week. So I hope you're all feeling the love this morning. Um, are you ready to dive in? Give me a hell yes. Um, what I would love, so let's come down into this for a moment. What I would love to know is what is the intention that you are setting for yourself this week? We are going to be here this week. You're giving it your time. You're giving it your energy. You are giving it your focus. Yes, it might be free, 
but it's certainly going to take time, effort and focus if you're going to not only show up and take part in listening to the content and hearing me teach and coach and preach, <laughs> but if you're also going to actually implement this so that you get your own results by the end of it, because that's my intention. I want you to be here this week fully. I want you to be fully involved, fully committed. And I also essentially want you to take the action. I want you to do this. I want you to decide for yourself that this is not just some free training that you hop into and you listen to a bit and then you go about your day, that you actually decide that you are growing your group big time and you are making it profitable. Not from a place of icky or taking advantage or any of those things, but from a place of total alignment, doing your purpose work and receiving richly for that. So I would love you right now in the comments, um, and I'll read through some of them now, I'll come back to some of them later if there's loads, because there's lots of you on here, there's 59 of you here live with me at the moment, which is gorgeous to see, so good morning everyone. So what I would love you to do, oh we've got another McPherson here, that's funny, um, so what I would love you to do is type in your intention for this week. What do you want to receive from this challenge? What do you want to implement? What do you want to kickstart in your own business so that you start to work towards your goals this year, so that you're bringing in the clients, so that you're growing your business, so that you're making more income, so that you're having a bigger impact, so that you get to do more of what you love to do, right? So what is it for you? Um, type, your, um, type it in, I want to say. Uh, so Andrea says, you're on a mission to recruit and build your business. Boom, love it. Um, Elena, 100% really looking forward to this. Awesome, Amanda, hello. Uh, your intention is that by Sunday you will have set up your group and you'll be ready for your first members. Awesome, guess what, Bella? We're going to do that before Sunday. We're going to dive into it now, today and tomorrow. We want to get it up and running ASAP because this does not need to take a long time. This is a challenge that I ran before a couple of times. It's different every single time I do it, never the same. <laughs> um, but let me tell you this, when people are taking action, the people who take action, and lots of those are now actually clients who are working with me because they got incredible results and they were like, wow, I want to know, I want more of this, help me Claire. Um, they literally got started getting people in their groups, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 200, 300 people in this week. That is possible. So don't play small with your goals and your intentions for this. Play big. See the bigger picture and choose that, hell yes, you can do it for yourself. If you've already got a group, you're in the right place because this is going to be how you really activate your group to the next level, how you create more engagement in it and how essentially you really get people ready to buy your products, your services, your offers because they buy into you and that's essential. If you haven't got a group, we're going to be getting that group set up quickly so that you can start actually growing it, having that community and making the impact that you desire. Um, you've just set a new you have just set on a new business journey so this week is about brand building and creating community that you can build a business from gorgeous Allegra um, you want to have a free trial you want to have my free trial in place by the weekend okay cool to grow your business Magda awesome more frontline more customers more interaction more engagement I love it your intention is to feel good and inspired for the next part of your journey Woohoo! Um, I love that Faye that's really exciting okay there are gorgeous 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 um, intentions coming in here so well done I love it so whether you put your intention or not be clear on it. As some of you are still typing in those intentions, let me quickly talk you through, only briefly, how this week is going to work. So firstly, I'm going to be live today, tomorrow, Wednesday, 10.30 each morning with the new next part that you need to put in place to grow your own fabulous and profitable Facebook group of your own. If you can't make it live on any of those days, the replay will be available for a certain amount of time and you will also be receiving an email if you signed up for this challenge every day this week that's got the replay on it plus bonus content let me say that again plus bonus content so it's worth you going and checking out those emails even if you're live with me every day the second thing is I like a bit of interaction I like to see that people are implementing this and actually doing something with it because otherwise why am I here um, so there are prizes to be won for those of you who play full out this week the three things that you need to do are number one 
give each video a like or a love. Uh, number two, comment on each video. So what I'm saying really with that is engage with me, talk to me, tell me where you're at, share your comments so that you get the most from this training. And number three, do the daily task and post it in this group. Okay, so every day you're going to have a task for you to go and actually implement, which is going to help you grow your group. And you need to do that and you need to actually share it in this group to be in to win one of the prizes. And I'll be doing the prize draw either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. The other thing I'm briefly going to tell you because it's freaking amazing and I'm very excited about it and there's no secret around this at all, is that my doors are currently open to my six month mastermind and I'm only sharing this briefly with you today but it's six months of business building in every way six months of the internal shift and the external strategies for you to grow your business to six figures if that's what you want whether you're currently at one two whatever it might be it's about all the steps inside and out to grow your business big time I'll be talking about that a little bit more but if you enjoy the way that I share, if you enjoy the energy, if you're ready to really do this, then it's worth us having a conversation to see if the mastermind is perfect for you. And the investment is nowhere near what it should be for such an intense, freaking amazing, um, a freaking amazing experience basically, and the results that you can get in your own business by the end of that mastermind. So, ready for today? Are we ready? You've shared your intentions, so we're in the right place, we're clear, we're here, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, and you want to start selling, hell yes, because that's one of the things, right? You have these gorgeous businesses, but how often are you selling? And we want to make it far easier for you to sell in an aligned way, often actually embracing that feminine energy, because so often we live in such a masculine world and business is done in such a masculine way. And by the way, I'm all for, I'm all for a bit of masculine. I like to do, I like to take action. I actually enjoy that energy, so I'm not proofing it at all but actually there's the other side of this which is the feminine way to grow our business and the feminine way to grow our business is through connection it's through purpose it's through doing the things that really light us up it's through relationship building right and so actually Facebook groups as a strategy to grow your business to attract your sole clients and then to sell to them in a really aligned way is perfect if you like doing business in that slightly more feminine way because you want to make connections you want to build relationships you want to give value you don't want to feel salesy and pushy and kind of more in that masculine energy okay so this is a really different beautiful way that you can really grow your business and you can grow it quickly. This, it, this does not need to be some long strategy that takes three months, six months, 12 months. This is something that you can do quickly in your business from a place of being all of you, from a place of being visible, from a place of actually choosing to be a leader. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a moment because I know lots of people have a bit of resistance around like seeing themselves as a leader. But if you're growing a group, a group is a tribe, a group is a community, and it needs a leader. It needs someone who is leading the way, who is shining the light, who is being that lighthouse. Now, what I would love to know, and this is just, uh, this is just me, who's interested, um, is this your first challenge with me? Share in the comments, tell me, is this your first challenge with me, or have you done one of my other challenges? Because just a few weeks ago, and this is not something I don't normally do challenges so close together, but a few weeks ago, we did the Six Figure with Soul Challenge in this group, and I'm really intrigued to see how many of you have done this with me or did the Profitable Facebook group challenge before or whether you are brand new um, to this space and ready to go deep. So just tell me that, I would love to know. Is this your first challenge or have you done one before? Right, notes at the ready. Are you ready? Have you got your own notebook? Have you got a coffee? Are you ready to go? Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at some of the things. Nowhere near the first. <laughs> no, yes, it's the first one, says Katie. Awesome. Yes, first one, first one. Oh, lots of you are here for the first one. Exciting. Yes, it's the first one. Okay, cool. So, today I really want to talk about why Facebook groups, 
why it's the perfect vehicle and the perfect strategy for you to really align with yourself, with your strengths, so that building your business is easier, so that it doesn't feel like a struggle, so that you don't get stuck in procrastination, so you don't get overwhelmed, so it actually feels really easy to show up, to make a difference, to attract your soul clients, and to actually sell your services and your products. So first I want to talk about the two biggest reasons people are not getting the results they want to in their business. So I'm speaking to you if you're currently feeling a bit stuck, if you've started your business but you haven't hit your goals, if you've got that big dream and you feel that calling and you know you want to be doing this right but maybe right now it feels hard and maybe you're looking at other people and going what the hell, how come they're doing it and they're doing it and they're doing it and they're getting results but I'm stuck right here and let me tell you this, when I first started my business, when I first took it online which was four or five years ago now, that's exactly how I felt. I I felt so annoyed because I could see these people who were making money. I could see that it was possible. But I was struggling and I felt like no one was noticing me. I felt really overwhelmed and stuck with, well, what should I be doing? I was listening to all these trainings and experts tell me, but I should be doing it this way and I should be doing it this way and I should be doing it this way. And I was getting more and more and more lost. And in that space, I started losing my love for my business. I started to forget to forget why I was really doing this. And at the time, I wasn't a business coach. I'd become a business coach as I learned how to grow my own business and then help lots of other women do the same. At the time, I was purely a mindset coach. And so I went through this whole struggle. And then I decided, this is BS. I do not need to follow all these rules. There is not only one way to do this. Actually, what if I forgot the rules? And what if I actually started doing the things that I love in my business again? And I thought, okay, what are some of those things that I love? And I thought, well, you know what? I love giving value. I love actually feeling like I make a difference. I love connecting with women. I love talking to them. I love hearing about it. And so I went, you know what? I'm going to grow my own Facebook group. And so I started my group and I had like five or six women in there to begin with. It was this teeny tiny space, but I gave it my love and I showed up. And here's the other thing, because at the time I was also quite scared about being visible. Give me a little love heart if you've got any like fears about being visible. And I was, I had this story in my head and now I know it was just a story, but I had this story in my head about, oh my God, I can't go live on my business page or on my personal profile and just be out there to the world because what will people say? What will all friends say? What will family say? What if I look like a fool? I was in all of this self-doubt around it, right? And so I wasn't showing up. I wasn't being visible. But still, I was wondering, why is my business not growing? <laughs> Pretty obvious, right? So when I started my Facebook group, it actually felt like a much safer way to start being visible. Because at the time, my group was small. And it was like, okay, I can show up. I can go live to this small group of people and build my confidence. And it grew, and it grew. And as my business grew, as my group grew, as my confidence grew, group, it all became much easier. And that's what I would love for you so that you can build this community and feel safe in this community to be more visible, to say the things that you want to say, to really share and show up for yourself, for your business, for your potential soul clients who are in that group, right? So that you can start making the income that you really want and desire in this business. So you can make it successful. So you can leave your job or go full time or hit those 5k months, 10k months, 20k months, whatever it is that you really desire for yourself. So this is one of the reasons why I love Facebook groups, because even if you've got some resistance going on around being visible, around sharing content, around speaking your truth in your business, around being all of you, actually there's a safe space that you can create here so that you can build your confidence as you go. So it's a way that you can dive in right now. Sound good? I thought so. <laughs> and it certainly helped me. And that was my first step to turning my business around and actually starting to be visible, which then of course led to me getting on calls with clients, filling my programs, getting fully booked and has led to a six figure business and beyond, right? So this is the beginning. This is planting those seeds so that you can actually start to be on track and grow your business and bring in the clients and make the income that you need in your business. Um, okay. So 
the two biggest reasons why you're not potentially bringing in the clients, bringing in the income, growing your business how you want to right now is number one, you are not being visible. You're not being visible enough. So maybe you know full well you could be doing lives, you could be sharing more posts, you could be just showing up in a much bigger way, but perhaps you're not. Perhaps at the moment you're still just posting occasional things, reposting things that you like the look of. Maybe there's quotes and you fill your, your feed with quotes. I know, I was there once, and I used to just find quotes that I liked, and I used to just copy them and think, that's all right, that, you know, I'm showing up, I'm being visible. No, because people don't see you. When it comes to actually growing your business, if you're the world's best kept secret, you are never going to make your business the success that you deserve it to be and your clients deserve it to be. So we need to actually shift past that discomfort of being visible. You need to start believing in yourself. You need to start seeing your value. You need to start seeing and realizing that you are here. You were born. You have lived this lifetime for a reason. You have got this business for a reason. And it's about recognizing that this reason is bigger than you. So you need to actually make that decision to finally get out of your own way and show up in the way that you know you can deep down. You know, I talk about the two voices. I talk about like ego voice and ego voice is like the mean girl. It's the bully. It's the version of you that holds you back, that says all those horrible mean things to you. You're not good enough. Who do you think you are? It'll never work. It whispers or shouts in your ear and it will hold you back. And then we also have what I call our higher self or the cheerleader, like the version of you who knows that you are so much more than that. Who knows that you can make this gorgeous, gorgeous business explode? Who knows that you can impact so many lives? Who knows that you can receive more richly for what you do? Who knows that you can have that life that you see? Because here's the thing, we can only see things in our mind's eye that are actually available to us. What we can't comprehend is not available. So if you can see it, it's available. But to actually go out there and make it happen, we have to shift out of our own way. We have to get visible. And being visible is not reposting quotes. It's not occasional this or that or the other, right? Being visible, I'm going to talk about this more, but being visible starts with you starting to believe in yourself, or at least stepping into a future version of you who does and acting from that place. Now, I'm going to share more about that because that's a big shift, a big internal shift you can make. I'm going to talk about more, more about that one of the other days. The second reason you might not be growing your business and seeing the results that you want is because you're spaghetti marketing. <laughs> Who knows that there's spaghetti marketing? Spaghetti marketing means you're probably listening to all the experts tell you you need to be doing da -da 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 -da. and so you're doing a quick post over there and a post over there and this 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 there and, this there, and, this there, and you're so busy. You're, you probably feel like the busy fool. You probably feel like you're on a hamster wheel going 100 miles an hour because you're doing all these things but none of it is actually getting you the results that you want. And you're going, I don't understand. I'm showing up. I'm posting things. I'm writing things. I'm doing the things that people say I need to do. So why, why the hell are clients not coming to me? Spaghetti marketing feels hard. It feels like a struggle. It feels like you're giving and giving and giving and receiving nothing back. Essentially, spaghetti marketing means that you are putting your energy out all over the place without any real structure or plan, without being really clear on the outcome. And so one of the reasons why I'm really passionate about Facebook groups is because we can get rid of some of that spaghetti marketing and instead build a strategy that feels really organic, really aligned, really expansive so you can actually grow your business the way that you want to. Who knows? Give me a little love heart or a little emoji in the comments. Who knows that they fall into spaghetti marketing? Who's been doing the spaghetti marketing? And so spaghetti marketing is the reposting quotes. Spaghetti marketing is the writing a little like blog maybe or, or a little quote or little post and then literally sharing it in all the places that you can think of. Um, spaghetti marketing is like hearing the likes of Gary Vee say, you need to be showing up 20 times a day and you need to be posting on Instagram and this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And you're like, what? And there's no actually no time left to actually do the things in your business that light you up and it's rubbish and we don't need it. So, so 
We need to get rid of that. We need to also get rid of that mindset, right? We need to get rid of that mindset um, that people play on. Let me tell you, let me give you some examples of this. You see a Facebook advertisement that says, Facebook is dead. If you want to continue growing your business in the future, then you need to learn how to boost your Instagram, or you need to learn how to go and use LinkedIn, or you need to learn how to do da 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 da, da. But where are these people sharing their message? On Facebook. Hello. <laughs> so there are so many marketers who will try to tell you that you need to be everywhere, you need to do everything, you need a different strategy, it needs to be complicated, and all of it is BS. It is not the truth. And the reason why I love Facebook groups and I myself use Facebook groups to grow an audience, to make a difference, to give value, and then to know that those people who are ready to take the next step will absolutely come and join me on one of my programs. The reason that I do that is that it feels easy, it feels aligned, it taps into my values. And I don't need to be creating some super complicated strategy that just gets me overwhelmed and lost and back into that struggle and doubt and procrastination okay and it really drives me mad when I see those posts that are literally saying like Facebook no longer works you need to be going and doing it elsewhere but they're telling you it on Facebook please they're uh, what more than 2.36 I think that was the last thing I heard 2.36 billion active users on Facebook. So if you're currently telling yourself the story that your sole clients, the people who want to buy from you are not on Facebook, let me tell you this, it is not true. It is not true. Not only that, but you don't, you also don't really, certainly not until you get to six figures or beyond, need to be worrying about using lots of different platforms. One platform is enough. Dominate one platform and why not Facebook right because how many people are on it and how many different things has it got that you can use the other thing is Facebook is specifically supporting communities so when it comes to the posts that you share on your business page versus the posts you will share in your group it will purposefully push those that you share on your group to way, way, way more of that community than it will to your business page because Facebook is supporting groups and helping you grow groups right now. So it's the perfect time to be actually starting your group, growing your group and making your group profitable. Does that sound exciting? I think it is. So to summarize, Facebook groups are freaking amazing because you can get rid of spaghetti marketing, you can get visible and build your confidence as you go all of your soul clients are going to be on Facebook, <laughs> over 3 billion. So I promise you there are enough people here for you to be fully booked forever or sell out your offers or sell out your services or sell out your products or whatever it is that you do. Okay, so any of those stories of scarcity or doubt, put them to bed now. So from this place, from this place of excitement and expansiveness, where the world is your oyster, why do you want to grow your group? And I want you to share with me in the comments. I'm going to actually wait because I want to see them and I want to read some of them. Why do you personally want to grow a Facebook group? Why do you personally want to grow a Facebook community of your own? That's what I want to hear. Share it with me. Share it. I'm going to give you a second because I know there's always like a little bit of a delay. Um, okay. Yes, absolutely. Not just do I think, Leslie, it's a fact. Facebook groups are much, much better. Facebook is supporting groups, so their algorithms are purposefully built to push out the content of groups far more. I think it's something like 50%, 50% more, 500% more. I can't, don't forget that. I'm making that up. I don't know it. Um, but massively more, massively more, I promise you, massively more than on your business page. Um, yes. Uh, great message, Claire. You love the energy. Would love, oh, hang on, I can't see you. Uh, would love some tips on how to build a closed group. That's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're doing these three days. Uh, Ginny, lovely to see you. Um, okay, so I think a group is the best way to share with my audience. Yes, 
boom. Uh, Hazel, I want people to get to know what I do and trust me. Yes. Give value so that I can nurture my possible clients or spread the word about me. Yes. Perfect. Gorgeous reason to grow your group. Eleanor, grow my group to reach out and connect with more people to share my products and services so I know my customers are getting the best of the best. Yes. Boom. To create a community of women that need to hear my message. Yes. And need your help. Gorgeous. To get more prospects. Yes. But also like why? What is it about getting more prospects that really lights you up and feels like exciting because it's full of soul clients yes julia gorgeous i want to empower as many women as i can to feel the most confident version of themselves gorgeous meaningful connections love it i want to represent me in my business boom okay boom you've got it these are these are gorgeous reasons because let me tell you this you need to be clear this is a first step you being clear on your intention and your why for growing this group because what happens too often is people think, grow a group, that's a good idea, boom, let me start it, and they set it up quickly. And then a couple of weeks down the line, they're like, oh, no one's really joining, nothing's happening, I don't know what I'm doing with it, I'm not sure what the difference is between what I should be sharing in my group versus on my page, and so like they lose the love, and, and then nothing happens with it. So let's get clear to begin with on your purpose for doing this. So you're starting this from that place of being aligned. So this isn't just something that you're trying in your business, this is a really aligned, expansive, fun strategy where you can show up, be it all of yourself, give value, attract your soul clients and sell to those people who are ready to say hell yes to you. Um, I love it, 57% uh, more, that's a percentage, thank you Sean. Um, <laughs> okay, I can see there's loads and loads and loads of these coming in. Uh, I need to start a group. I want parents of teens to feel that they're not alone and to help them support their teens. Yes, gorgeous. So here's the thing, beneath most of our businesses, because most women here have got purpose-driven businesses, right? You're doing your business not just to make money. You're doing your business because you can feel that bigger purpose around it, because you know you want to make a difference. You know you want to help people. And a group, a community works perfectly with that right because groups are not just this place to sell if you've opened a group just to sell forget it it's about building a community it's about showing up as a leader it's about inspiring people it's about supporting people it's about positioning yourself as the expert that your soul clients really want to work with so that when you sell when you share your offers when you say hey the doors are open to this or this or this or I'm selling this or I've got this or I've got this they're like hell yes Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me now. I'm ready. I want to do this because they have bought into you. They trust you. They like you. They know that you can help them get the results that they want. So even though it might feel scary to make that leap and actually invest in you, they are so much more ready to do it because they're not doing it cold. They've actually started to build this beautiful relationship with you. The other reason that I love this, to be honest, is because not everyone can actually afford our services all the time, right? And so if I can give people a bit of help to get them started so that they begin their journey, then that's amazing and that's a beautiful thing. So that's part of how I give back in my business. And I also trust in that space, the right woman will know when they're ready to work with me and actually get massive results um okay so here's what we're focusing on today let's make your group magnetic with a clear purpose and why so these are the things that i want you to think about right now number one what does your group stand for say it again what in fact i'm going to type it in for you one what does your group stand for Let me tell you what I mean by that. What does your group stand for is the purpose and the passion behind what you do in that group. So this is why people will be magnetized to it. This is why when it shows up in people's new news feed or it pops up in the side of the page, you know how they do? They'll be like, oh God, that sounds really interesting. I want to be part of that. This group stands for the fact that there are amazing freaking women out there who are building businesses but not getting paid what they deserve to in those businesses. So it's, it's one thing to be an amazing coach. It's one thing to be an incredible healer. It's one thing to have amazing products that you sell to people. It's one thing to be amazing at your craft. But there is no point 
being amazing at your craft, being the best person in the world at your craft if no one knows that you exist, if they don't know that you're amazing at what you do. So I'm really passionate about helping women get visible in their businesses by shifting the mindset, by building strategies, by knowing how to actually grow their presence using social media so that they can get seen and get paid for the thing they love to do. Because in my own life for too long, I was a coach who was a great coach. I knew I was a great coach. I got great results with clients, but I, I didn't know how to market myself in my business. And so I struggled. So I was constantly out there searching. And that's what we need to change. It's not about searching, searching, searching for clients. It's about you showing up and creating this gorgeous space where clients come to you, where you magnetize your soul clients with your message. It starts with your message. So when you say, okay, Claire, I agree. I don't want to be searching for my clients. I no longer want to feel in scarcity and going, where's the next person I can sell to? I want them to come to me. Well, the first thing to get them to come to you is to get really clear on your message. And the beginning of that message is what you stand for. What do you stand for? Type it in. Let me have a look. Um, let me try and find where this bit begins. There's so many comments. <laughs> There's so many comments, I can't find it. Um, but that's a, group, a beautiful thing. By the way, those of you who've been joining later, you need to make sure to be in the competition, like each video, comment on each video, and do the daily task if you want to be in one of the prizes. I'm just noting that there's like over 70 people live with me, but only 60 people have actually liked the video. Oh, shock, horror. Um, so give the video a like so that you're in to win one of the prizes. Because one of the prizes is um, one of my paid programs, by the way. So it's, there's a couple of awesome prizes. Okay, Kelly says, what should be on your business page and what should be on your group? I'm going to share that in a moment. Don't worry, uh, either today or tomorrow, I'm going to share that. Because um, that's a question that loads of people ask. My group stands for showing women how beautiful they are, how strong, amazing, and sexy. This this special and best of the family. So yes, I love it. My group stands for showing women how beautiful they are, how strong, how amazing, and how sexy. Boom. Can you see why if you weren't feeling strong and empowered and sexy, but you knew you, that you wanted to, that when you saw a group like that, you'd be like, hmm, yes, give me more of that. I'm interested um what else have we got here empowerment okay empowerment i love it but can you make it more specific so if you've written empowerment or something like that i want you to make it more specific empowerment around what empowerment around how like empowerment in what way make it more specific because lots of people say empowerment so we don't want it to be so generic that it doesn't grab anyone's attention we want to make it a bit more specific so it really speaks to us all clients um my group will be a space a safe place where people can admit to feeling anxiety, stress, and overwhelm. Okay, so it's that space for people who are struggling with stress, anxiety, and overwhelm and giving them resources so that they can actually learn to manage it better. Gorgeous, love it. Um, I stand for those ready to explore and go on their awakened spiritual journey. Boom. And can you, you can feel into that, right? If you saw a, a group like that and you knew you, you were beginning your spiritual journey, you could, feel your, you could feel that it was all going on for yourself. You'd be like, yes, that's the kind of space that I need. I need to be in that community because that my, like, there are other people like me in there and they're going to help me in there. They're going to show me the pathway. They're going to give me tools, give me advice, give me um, like support on how I do this. Uh, my group stands for being positive, uh, for being Sorry, <laughs> I can read, honestly. Uh, my group stands for being positive, being financially savvy and getting great products in process. Love, I love it, gorgeous. Um, for being a force to be a, a business as a force for good. I love that, a business as a force for good. That's beautiful. Um, okay, so you've got the picture. So this is the first thing. You need to know and you need to be clear on what your group stands for and... You need to be showing that to the outside world because this is the thing. This is one of the mistakes people make is they when they start a group, they put everything in their group and they forget that they need to be outside of the group going, hey, look, everyone, join the group, join the group, join the group. And this is why. This is why you want to join the group. So you need to be on your business page singing and dancing about it. You need to be on your profile page singing and dancing about it. You need to be setting up events and other things on Facebook saying, hey, there's this stuff happening in this group and it's freaking amazing, so come and join it. You need to be... You know, when you you find something that you just, that blows your mind, you're like, this is literally the best thing 
ever in the whole entire world and you tell all your friends and you tell all your family and like every conversation like oh my god have you seen like have you found this thing and everyone's like what what will you need to feel like this about your group you need to be singing from the rooftops about your group because you are totally sold on it you totally know it helps people and you think it's the best thing since sliced bread let me have a quick sip of coffee Whew, take a breath Claire <laughs> sip of coffee take a breath and then we'll continue there's still some of these angry faces I'm totally just assuming that they're a mistake okay bear with me I'm with you again in a second okay so that's part one Part two is, what tangible result do you help your clients with that this group supports? What tangible results, I'll type it in again. What tangible, can I spell tangible results? I'm a terrible speller. What tangible results uh, do, you, do you help your soul clients with? that this group supports. There might be strong mistakes on that. If there is, I apologise. I didn't actually check before I pinged it in. It's fine. Uh, we all know that spelling mistakes just happen occasionally. Um, okay, so what did we get to that? What, are the, what tangible results do you help your soul clients with that your group supports? Now, this is really important because people forget the tangible results. People share the, uh, let me give you an example, Michelle's, Michelle's Magic Makeup Group, okay? Michelle's Magic Makeup Group does not give a tangible result. It might, your friends and family, if you're, you're called Michelle and you decide to grow your group and call it Michelle's Marvelous Makeup, Makeup Group or Magic Makeup Group. Your friends and family might be like, oh yeah, that's amazing, of course I'm gonna join the group, right? Because they love you already, they're sold on you already. But strangers looking at that, Michelle's Magic Makeup Group, yeah, not grabbing my attention. However, if Michelle was really passionate about empowering women by helping them um, wear makeup in fun and fierce ways that made them feel sexy and whatever so that it was actually about creating empowerment by uh, teaching you how to use makeup in a totally new and radical way <laughs> this is not the best example by the way but just you, you, you know what i mean right um and so you call it like makeup for the fierce uh fierce and fabulous makeup so that you dare to stand out in the crowd for example, it's a, it's a bit more tangible in that people are like, okay, so you're showing me how to have like raw makeup, the crazy makeup, so that I can, like, I'm thinking about like in my goth years when I was quite into crazy makeup. And if someone was teaching me how to put on crazy makeup so I could be more visible and feel safe being more visible, I would have found that quite attractive back then. So anyway, that was a terrible example, but I'm sure you get the idea. Watch the tangible, what is the tangible result that you help your soul clients to get? So for example, the tangible result that I help my soul clients to get is uh, have more of their own clients, is to grow their community and to make more sales, to hit their first 5K months, 10K months, and beyond doing what they love. It's tangible, it's an actual thing. Um, so what is it? So let me find tangible results. Uh, better health, mental, physical, spiritual, and everything in between. Okay, make it a little bit more specific, Paula. Help them find the wedding dress of their dreams. Boom. Um, feeling better by creating art. Okay, so like feeling better internally. Does that mean like, yeah. Maybe change the feeling better bit, but I love that by creating art, I think that's gorgeous. Uh, the best smelling homes, yes. Um, where are we? Uh, support to love the skin they are in. For what reason? For what reason? Because yes, I get it. It's very important for us to love the skin we are in. I agree, one hundred percent. But for what reason? What by loving the skin that you're in? What does it allow you to do? Be have in the world? Um, so, for example, love the skin you're in to feel sexy and confident in your sex life with your partner. Um, 
Maria, you're late. You'll stay here and watch the replay. Awesome. We've still got loads to cover today. Um, Debbie, giving ideas so that different or more interesting choices of colour can be made with confidence. Okay, but what is it about wearing colour that will build confidence? So actually teaching women to wear colour and play with their clothes so they feel more confident every day, for example. Tangible results uh, for retail owners, helping retail owners improve the way they think and work to increase profitability. So yeah, building, helping retailers build profitability by, love it. Um, okay, these are awesome. You're on it. It looks like most of you are there. But you get the idea, it needs to be tangible. And when we're talking about the group, when we're setting up the group, when we're sharing with the world what the group is, we want to be talking about that tangible result because it's the tangible result that will grab attention. So first, it's like, well, what, what am, what's, what's the group stand for? So it's the values within the group. Secondly, it's what's the message in the group? What does the group actually do? And make it really tangible because the more tangible it is, the more people go, oh, ah, yes, that's what I'm looking for. So really think, this is about, you know, I talk about that 3 a.m. problem of your sole client. What is the thing that they wake up first thing in the morning, kind of going, oh my God, I need to. And it's, it's, it's a real need and they are willing to pay and invest to get that need sorted. So for example, you've been struggling in your business for too long, you haven't got the clients coming in, you know you need to grow your business, you know you need to up the game, or maybe you're gonna to have to go and get a job or, or, or forget about it, perhaps. Well, that would be the result. You wake up, you haven't got the clients, where are my next clients coming from? How am I gonna sell my next offer? Okay, that's the problem. I'm gonna teach you how to do that in an aligned way, doing what you love, so that you build that you build that community, you build that business from the inside out with the strategies, with the internal work as well. Um, okay, get clarity on their goals, find strategies. Um, what's holding them? Uh, sorry, let me try that again, Monica. Get clarity on their goals, find strategies to achieve them, find out what's holding them back and shifting their thinking, give them the tools to cope with anxiety when they feel stuck. Boom, I mean, that's loads. Maybe try and condense it down a little bit because that feels big. Um, ideas for beauty treatments. Um, Okay, most of you are getting it. Improved resilience for families, awesome. When they have improved resilience, Amy, what does that give them? So improved resilience for families too. Um, okay, so next one is what do you want to achieve in this group? So how are you going to set this group up so that you can show up and give value? So you can build no like, and trust. You know, there are different kinds of groups out there. I'm sure all of you have seen those groups that are thousands upon thousands upon thousands big but they're just like this big mess everyone's just in there selling right so you have these kind of groups that are just these big selling groups and they feel really icky and it's a bit like what where's the leadership in this group and then you have other groups that has clear leadership clear strategy clear message clear value what do you want your group to be like actually envision it create it we create our world from the inside out we need to see it in here so we can create it externally now, I know at this point, some of you might be saying, but Claire, tell me the how, tell me the how, tell me the how. Um, well, this is some of the how, and we're going to go more also into the how over the next few days. But at this point, we need to get really clear on what it is we're creating, why we're creating it, and why our sole clients really want to be in this community. Because this is the first step, and this is how we, we start a group that's not just a group that doesn't just have some people in it, but we actually start a group that's really engaged, where we show up fully, where we are the leader, and therefore people actually want to take that next step and invest in, in us or buy the products that you're selling. Um, and that's essential, essentially essential. Okay, so. The last question in this is why do your sole clients need to be in this group? Why when they see it are they going to go, oh my god, I need this group in my life? So question number three is why do your potential sole clients need this group? Why will they be massively excited? <laughs> Look at all the spelling mistakes in there. Excited to join and be 
part of the community. Um, <laughs> hang on, I've only sort out one or two of those spelling mistakes. Is that actually terrible? Will it let me? I don't know if I can do it while I'm on a live. I don't think I can. Oh gosh, that's really annoying. I might have to actually post it with all those mistakes in. I'm going to have to post it with the mistakes in. Oh, okay, right. There's a load of spelling mistakes. It's because my fingers were just doing this. I do know how to spell why. <laughs> um, never mind. <coughs> why do your soul clients need this group so that when they see it, they're like, oh, yes, let me in. I need to be here. I need to be here. I need to be part of this community. I need to engage in this community. I need to listen. I need to show up for the trainings. I need to share my thoughts. I need to be part of this. Why? Write it in. Let me find where my comment is and then I can see the other ones. Um, just listening to you has already given you some clarity the focus you need awesome Laura that's fantastic to see and that's what I want to do here and this is what day one is about day one is about inspiring you to go hell yes I'm going to grow this group big time I'm taking that leap forward in my business I am doing this I'm going to make a massive impact it's going to be freaking amazing first it has to start with that inspired action hell yes I'm in I'm ready number two Start to build clarity, start to get clear in here. Well, why? Why am I doing this for myself? What do I want to achieve in it for it for me, for my business? Well, yes, I want to use this space to build this community that's filled with soul clients so I can really make a difference and so I can sell to those people ready to take the next step. Boom. Why do your soul clients want to be there? What's going to make them feel excited to be part of your community? So it's not just space that's like, yeah. If Paul is here, like that mirror. <laughs> um, it's not just a mirror. It's like, hell yes, this is amazing. I need to be part of this. I need to show up. I need to take action. I need to learn from this place. And actually, this woman, <clears throat> you, is incredible. And I need to take the next step with her because look at what I've got from this little bit here. Look at the value I've got from this training. Look at how she's helped me with this. Look how she shows up with this. Look how she inspires me with this. What's the next step? How do I invest? How do I actually really overcome my problem? Because I'm ready to change things big time so I can say hell yes to working with this person. <clears throat> That's what we need to do. And this is the foundation for your group. Because if this isn't in place, you're missing the magic. This is the magic. And this is where people want to skip this bit because it's too easy. It's too obvious. They know. But when you get crystal clear and you grow your group with this intention set, set in stone, this is when <clears throat> sorry, your group is going to be amazing, it's going to be explosive, it's going to be filled with engaged potential clients and it's going to be a space that really does help you grow your business big time. So there we go, to get, okay, I'm just quickly reading some of these that are coming in, they're awesome, because they need the help, the support, the knowledge, yes, be specific with it, because they want to learn how to X, Y, and Z. They want to feel understood. They want to, so be really, really clear with this. Right. Okay, I'm loving some of these. I'm literally like skim reading them because if I read them out loud, it's gonna take me forever and a day. But you've got it, you've got it, you've got it, you've got it. Boom. <clears throat> okay, so in a moment, I'm going to share with you your task for the day. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't, by the way, this is like a pre-task. If you haven't set up your group yet, that's going to be your first task. Go on your phone. It takes a second. Go into the menu, press groups, click create new group, and you'll be able to start your own group. So just start. So that's going to be your step one. It's not difficult. For now, you can put any picture up there. For, like, just begin it. Just actually create it. It's going to be your step one if you don't have it. I'm going to tell you your actual task for today in a moment. But first, I want to do a little visualization with you to really tap you into this and into this community. And this is a good one. So stay with me. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. If you're driving, continue to drive. <laughs> if you're not driving, then I'd like you just to settle down in your space, call your energy back to you, feel yourself, just come into the now, close your eyes, and start to relax. 
I'm going to keep my eyes open or it's going to look really weird. <laughs> but I'm hoping that your eyes are closed, that you're not looking at me and that you're ready to go on this journey. So again, just closing your eyes, pulling into the present moment, noticing your energy, taking a deep breath in and letting go of any anxiety, any tension, any questions and just allowing yourself to drop in. And just doing a quick body scan from the top of your head, over your forehead, your eyes, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, down through your back, through your hips, relaxing any muscles, letting go of any tension as you go and taking another beautiful deep breath in and letting it out. Okay. In your mind's eye, I want you to see a theatre opening up in front of you. It's a beautiful, lush theatre. A big, big screen on one wall. It's the new kind of cinemas that are being created right now with the big leather seats that you can recline on. But this cinema is more of a boutique one, so it's quite small, it's quite intimate, but it has a big screen in front of you. And on the big screen in front of you, when you glance up, you see it's playing your life. And at the moment on that screen, you're actually watching something that happened a day or two ago. You can see yourself on that movie screen, interacting with people, going about your day, having conversations. And if it's not really clear, you don't need to force it or push this picture. Just know that on some level you can do this. So maybe you worry that you can't visualize. Maybe it's not coming to you. Just allow yourself to go with it and see what happens. And so I'd like you to imagine settling yourself down comfortable on that big leather plush seat. Maybe you press the button to recline a little bit and you pick up the remote control that's on the side of the seat. And as you look at this big screen, we don't want to look at what's been playing yesterday or the day before. We want to take a look at what's happening in your life, in your business, six months from now. And so imagine picking up that remote and pressing fast forward, watching the week skip ahead, the next week, the next week, March, April, May, June, July, August, and seeing the screen flip, 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 flip to all different images of you moving quickly, quickly, quickly past until eventually it stops. Six months from now. And it stops on a scene where you're working on your business. Notice that there are going to be things that are different. Maybe you're dressed in a slightly different way. Maybe you're in a beautiful setting. Maybe you have a new office or a new phone or a new laptop, something that feels fantastic, something that shows that you have really grown your business in these last six months. And as you watch yourself sitting there, whether it's on your phone or on a laptop, you can see over the top of your shoulder down into that laptop screen or phone screen. And as you glance and you look, you notice that you're currently working on your fabulous Facebook group. And the first thing that your eye is drawn to is the number of people who are now in your community. Just notice, what does that number say? Is it 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000, more? How many people in these last six months have joined this fabulous Facebook community that you created. That's the first thing. Secondly, just notice what's the vibe of this group. You can see that version of you in the future scrolling through the screen and the comments and maybe you can see live videos that you've done in these past six months flip through that. And notice the vibe in that group. Notice how it feels. Notice how expansive it is. And notice how your energy has really shifted, how you are owning the fact that you are really the leader of this community, of this tribe, and how you have stepped up your game big time. And how now you have this gorgeous space filled with your soul clients. And as a result of that, your business has grown. As a result of that, you have filled your programs, your products, your offers. 
And then, as you look down into that screen, you feel yourself falling forwards, falling forwards through the big screen in the cinema, but also through the actual computer screen or phone screen into Facebook itself, into your Facebook group itself. When you land with a bit of a bang, <laughs> you pick yourself up quickly and dust yourself off and you stop and you look around you and everyone's turned around and you realize you're in this gorgeous room this gorgeous room that literally feels like it's your soul that's been branded on the walls. So maybe you love the leopard print or the colours or maybe it's opulent and rich, but you notice how gorgeous this room is as if it was made for you. And then as you glance around the room, you see all these people. All these people that are in your community all these people who are in your tribe, all these people that you've already been building relationships with, you know these, these people, whether they're women, whether they're men, whether they're teens, whatever they may be, you know them. And as you stand up straight and start looking at all these faces that are turning around and smiling at you, they start applauding, they start clapping, and you feel so filled with gratitude because you're like, oh my gosh, these people are, are clapping me. These people are smiling at me. These people are in this community that I created where I'm making a difference, where I'm being me, where I am being that leader. And because of that, I am building the business and building the life that I've always dreamt of. And you just stop and you feel that gratitude flowing through your body because this all began with one decision. One decision to really start growing this Facebook group of your own. One decision to show up in a totally new way. One decision to be visible and move past your fears and move past your doubt and allow yourself to start building this. And so the people go quiet and you think of just a few words that you want to say to them. And I want you to imagine standing there and delivering those words and seeing the smiles on everyone's faces. And then they rush towards you and maybe they hug you and kiss you. And maybe they want to shake your hand or they thank you. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous space. And you just think, wow, one decision allowed me to create this. And then you close your eyes in that moment and you feel that gratitude again and you feel how thankful you truly are and in your mind's eye again you see that life that you've built because of this decision and then you find yourself back in the cinema looking at the screen and then when you're ready you feel yourself coming back into the now opening your eyes but keeping with you that sense of gratitude because whether you saw that clearly as a picture, whether it was more of a feeling, whether it felt like you were just picking up breadcrumbs because maybe you find it, you, you tell yourself you find it difficult to do these visualizations, however you found that little experience just then. What I want you to take now is the fact that every little single decision we make in our business has a big impact over time, over a week, two weeks, a month, six months, a year, six years. Imagine what the decisions you make today in your business are gonna impact in the future, your future and the future of your soul clients. And it starts today, it starts with this, it starts with showing up this week, it starts with implementing what we do together. It starts with believing that you can do this. It starts with you deciding and realizing and recognizing that you are a leader, that you have a powerful message to share, that people need your help, that you have this business and you have the dream of growing this business for a reason and it's time to activate it. It's time to go to that next level. It's time to really freaking do this and move past the fear and move past the doubt and grow this community that needs you. Okay, are you with me? So I would love it if you just shared, how did that feel for you? What came up? What did you feel? What did you see? What was that number? Because um, we haven't talked about numbers. What was that number? How many people were in your community six months from now? Tell me, I want to hear it. 
And so it starts today. It starts today with starting the group. If you have not started it, don't worry about all the detail yet. We're going to be adding in the detail as we go this week. Just start it. And you have to, when you start your group, you have to add in one person. Add in a friend, add in your husband, add in whoever. Just add one person in so you can actually start it. Your task for today is this. Your task for today is to write or potentially revisit the about section for your Facebook group. Because when your group boings up in front of people, when people are on their computer or on their phone, and your group goes boom, so that people can see it. And you know Facebook recommends groups. So when Facebook recommend your group because you're showing up there big time, because people are engaging big time, and Facebook goes, Whoa, this group looks like it's something that's going to be exciting. Let's help this person promote it. They see a number of things. They see the banner. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. They see the banner. They obviously see the name. And they see the about bit. Shh. What is the about bit? So today I want you to go and either write the about section or revisit the about section for your fabulous Facebook group. And I want you to think about those things we covered earlier. So what does your group stand for? What tangible results does it give to the clients? And why do your soul clients want, desire, need to be in this space? So it's a simple, like, this space is for, this group is for, this community is for, like, this is a place for women who are ready to take that leap and take their business to the next level, who have got a bit of badass inside of them, who want to build a purpose-driven business, who have got that dream and they're ready to get out there and do this. Maybe they need a bit more confidence. Maybe they need the strategy. Maybe they need support. You're going to get all of this in this space come and join us now. And you know what, when you're writing this, get into that inspired state. Don't write this from like a stuck place of, oh, what should I write? And I need to get this perfect and I need to get this right. No. Inspired. Tap back into that vision. Tap back into your why. Tap back into what you saw six months from now and write it from that energy because it's the energy that speaks. It's energy that sells. So what is the energy of this group that you want to share with the world? Do you have that high vibe energy and you want to shout it from the streets? Or do you have this beautiful, deep, supportive, quieter energy that feels just so full and so expansive and so beautiful? Think about the essence of you and how you put the essence of you in this about bit for your Facebook group. So this is your task for today. Just to be super, super clear, this is your task for today. This is the task that you go away, you write your about bit, from that place of feeling inspired, from that place of really showing what the group stands for, what tangible results it creates, and why your soul clients need to be in that space, and you share it in this group. Got it? Give me a little bit of a thumbs up or look heart so I know that you're with me. So I know you've got it. Has everyone got it? Are there any questions? So, powerful and um, awesome. So, that's your task. Hopefully, you've liked this video, you've commented on this video, and now you get to go and do the task. Do it today. Do not be a perfectionist about it. Done is better than perfect. That is my absolute motto. Done is better than perfect. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get into perfection mode. Just damn well do it. <laughs> but do it from that place of being all of you. We have only literally touched the iceberg of this today. There is so much more for us to cover. Please come and join me live tomorrow, 10.30, because I have got, as I say, this is the, the very top of the iceberg. There's so much more for me to share with you here. We're going to be talking more about the house, more about branding, more about messaging, more about how you actually bring people to your group, more about how you actually sell in that group. So there's loads for us to cover still. Go and have an amazing day. If you've enjoyed today, then please do go and tell your business besties and friends that this is happening. Invite them into the group. Let them be in this space. Let them go through these trainings. You know, I do these because I want to help you. I want to support you. I want to make a difference. Also, to just remind you, my six-month mastermind is currently open for women who are ready to grow their business big time to those five to 10K months and beyond. So if you know that you've got that dream, you are ready, you want to go from that 
like feast of famine maybe that you're experiencing or that struggling but you know that it could be so much more and you want someone who has got your back who supports you, who shines a light and shows you the way, who helps you step up and be all of you, be the confident, badass, gorgeous change maker that you are so that you really feel like you can show up and growing this business can be easy and actually have those soul led strategies in place to grow your business big time, then the six month mastermind is probably for you because it is yes it's an investment yes it's a reasonable investment but it's a fraction of what it could be um, and if you want to explore whether it's the right fit for you and talk about the investment and see how it sits and I'm never ever going to be icky and force anyone into a sale then you can book in for one of my calls so we can explore whether it's a perfect fit you can ask ask any of your questions we can talk about the investment um, and then I can welcome you into the badass space and let me tell you there are some amazing women who are in there already and it is going to be an epic epic six months together of massive quantum growth growth in all areas so i don't know sean if you're still on here sean sean is my gorgeous assistant uh sean if you're still on here could you put the link to the mastermind so people can see the page and book in for a call uh because call space will be limited um obviously there's only one of me and i do them per personally because i want to know that we are aligned so on that note have an awesome day i will see you tomorrow at 10 30 take the action do the task go and check out the mastermind if you know you're ready for more and i'll see you tomorrow Mwah. lots of love bye